Hi guys. You know, it's really interesting to go back and look at movies and TV shows, even soap operas, which I'm going to get to in a moment, but I want to thank my subscribers who sent along this movie, as well as some general hospital, uh, general hospital show that is pretty astounding. But here, this was back in 1963, Fred McMurray in a movie, a sci-fi movie called Son of Flubber. Check it out. You know, Biff, this stuff is labeled dangerous. Oh, now, hop boy, look, when I get you into a situation, unless I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, that should do it. That should do it. <laughs> I've never seen them so worked up. When I bombard a cloud with a beam like this, it just has to lead to clustering, in turn leading to a transfer of particle momentum, and the inevitable consequence, precipitation. <laughs> Rain all over the place. Now for a cloud. Not a cloud in the sky. Not one single cloud. Wouldn't you know it? Well, what have we here? Range about 30 feet. Switch on. Ready. Aim. Fire. making clouds, artificial clouds, hitting it with a beam, and voila, you got rain. Back in 1963, do you think some script writer just thought all of that up on his own? Or maybe that script writer had some inside information on experiments that were being conducted. Yeah, I think that's what it is. So, what is this? What's going on in Hawaii? <laughs> Low altitude snow in Hawaii. And I guess that's due to climate change. Because man can't make snow. Can he? or she? All right. Oh, wow. I did not watch uh, General Hospital. This was back in 1981. Luke and Laura. I know those names. Luke and Laura. They were big back in the, well, late 70s and early 80s, but Check this out. Wow, have we been told over and over and over again. Yeah, TV, it could have been used as a real educational tool. Like, 
I think many of us watching TV back in the early days, uh, so much went over our heads. But if we were, uh, I don't know, uh, had a really active, uh, good brain, you know, watching Son of Flubber, that might have, we might have just researched weather modification instead of just looking at it as some fictional movie, untrue, just made up. Well, now it's the 80s. I've had a change of heart. I'd like one more spot of the bubbly before I retire. As you can see, it's frozen solid. Oh, I say. That is truly impressive. Remarkable. Powerful. Well, the unbelievable is now believable. Isn't it beautiful? This is incredible. I... You break off a piece of ice and you're licking a champagne lolly. <laughs> Honey, it's icy in here. I need my mink. No need for that, my dear. But I'm freezing. That's all for this evening. You can all get cozy and warm in your beds. I'm not moving one step until you tell me how all of this has stopped. What, you mean the freezing, eh? Yes, how do you reverse it, Mikos? And doesn't he look like that crazy guy, oh God, who was into, you know, the mind control experiments. What was his name? Oh man, I've got to pause you. Oh, how could I forget Michael Aquino? I don't know. He reminded me of Michael Aquino. Anyway, let's move on. This bracket's any cold and we've got a skate on it. It must be a tropical island, Robert. I don't understand now. I don't understand. Is that a good place? Somehow they've managed to make it cold up here. Yeah, but how? Maybe that's their energy force. Maybe that's what it's all about. I don't understand how they could possibly do that. Neither do I, but they've done it. Well, look, one thing's for sure. Well, We've got to find a way to keep warm through the night. The temperature could keep dropping. She's right about that. Yeah, we can freeze it. So let's uh, find some way to keep warm, all right? It's going to be a long, long night. Sorry about the time, mate. It's warmer here. No, it's all right. I'm, I'm busy. What are you doing? Cooking. Cooking? Yeah. First you take a coconut, you break it open. It helps if you have a hammer, but this will do on a tropical island. Then you make sure it's all open completely. You want to take a little bit of the meat out, but not all of the meat. What are you making? A treat. What can be causing it? You're finding out it's going to be easy, you know. Nothing's been easy since we got here. Well, the Cassidines are holed up below the ground like moles, with the goons got ready to come out and do us in the minute they find we're here. Robert, do you have to talk about that now? Sorry. What are you doing, Luke? Clapping! Yeah. All right. Robert, isn't there some way we can stop this? I mean, the ground is icy. How can we stop it, sweetheart? We don't know what's causing it. Yeah, we huh? do. It's coming from down below. I mean, the cold is radiating upwards. That means we have to get down there if we want to stop the cold. Well, that's out for now. We have to be practical. Right now, the only thing we can do is find some way to stay warm. This will help. Oh, yeah. A little so tropical, a tropical island, and there, well, as you watch this video, the script goes to, they fear freezing to death. But here is the scene where he's talking about how they uh, use crystals to uh, make the atmosphere cold make the champagne freeze, crystals, and if you pull a lever, it all stops. So this is nine minutes. I don't want to uh, continue playing the, the entire thing, but the link is below if you want to watch the entirety of this little clip. It tastes like something I stepped in once, but it doesn't taste too bad. You should sit and taste it like something you stepped in. Well, you can make up your mind. What do you expect? Go through tea bags, 
Hold your nose and sip it. It tastes better. Try that. Stop complaining. Do you think it's cold is going to stop radiating up from under the ground? And do you think it's going to change back to normal? Just hope so, love. Look, it's got to be a lot colder down there than it is up here. Absolutely. How can they stand it? I don't know. But even if we get down there, they're going to kill us anyway. You know something? It's just a thought, but you know something? Maybe it's just the opposite down below. Maybe it's really warmer down there. And if it keeps up like this, we're going to have no choice but to go down below. <laughs> yeah, but how? Look, I've racked my brains. I don't know of any way to get down there. And what are we going to find when we get down there anyway? There's only one way to get below, Robert. That's uh, through your girlfriend. Victor's girlfriend. And let's not forget that. You know what just occurred to me? What? Maybe she did tell them you're, that you're up here. Maybe you're right. Maybe that's why it's so cold up here, because they know we're here. They're going to try to freeze us to death. All righty then. So... When I heard crystals, I just, I don't know, I threw into a search bar. Crystals, weather modification. And there just happens to be a commercial weather modification company called Ice Crystal Engineering. But what is happening in Hawaii, that tropical island? Heaviest rain, strongest wind, and coldest temperature. Snow in Hawaii follows a year of extreme weather. Yeah, snow in Hawaii. Winds up to 191 miles per hour and a blanket of snow. Okie dokie. We can't get people to do the research on weather modification and geoengineering. I guess not. Um, this, th this is the crazy weather in Hawaii. April 14 through the 15th, it was a record rainfall, 24 hours. A relentless tropical deluge blasted the island with extreme rainfall. How extreme? An astonishing 49.69 inches in just under 24 hours. Wow. The previous long-standing record came from Tropical Storm Claudette, which dropped 43 inches on Alvin, Texas, July 25 through the 26th, 1979. Check out Texas Weather Modification Association. They were already performing weather modification cloud seeding in Texas. But August 22nd through the 26th, Hurricane Lane, oh, it was a juicy storm. Wait a second, Hawaii is not known for their hurricanes. What's happening? But that hurricane dropped 52.02 inches of rain. One station actually recorded 58.08 .08 inches. Wow. Well, this is interesting. An island that is not known for hurricanes had three back-to-back. -back. Lane, two weeks prior to Lane, Hector, and two weeks after Lane, it was Olivia. Swung in, first time on record, three or more tropical cyclones directly affected the state in a single season. Ordinarily, Hawaii's position Far enough north keeps it away from most storms, but that might not be the case going forward. Why? Climate change. Substantial increase in the likelihood of tropical cyclones. The frequency of those cyclones hitting Hawaii. Yes, the scientists predict Hawaii is likely to find itself in the crosshairs of more violent storms in the not-too-distant future because of climate change. Please understand that this kind of change, it would come incrementally. It doesn't come with three hurricanes back-to-back, -back, snowfall, uh, flooding so severe people lost their homes, and don't forget the 
a volcano, all that lava. We can't get people. We cannot get people to look into this. Well, here's another beauty. Does cloud seeding work? Scientists watch ice crystals grow inside clouds to find out, adding particles to the atmosphere to promote formation of rain or snow. Hmm. Man-made snow? Really? Yeah. Today, many entities across the West, including state and local government agencies, utility companies, and ski areas, seed clouds in an effort to boost wind uh, winter snowfall. In the mountains, more snowpack means more spring and summer runoff, which feeds local water supplies, irrigates crops, and fuels dams that generate hydroelectric power. That's if it's used for good. Unfortunately, weather is being used as a weapon. So if you can do all that and you read it in these um, you can read it all over. Yes, they can create rain. They can create snow. Virtually uh, every mainstream media, they report on cloud seeding, but every now and then they throw in the son of Flubber, who can take a beam and shoot it at a cloud and make rain. Oh my God, how is it even possible to do this? Well, what was his name? Michu Kachu, whatever the hell his name is. Um, CBS, there he is. Now we can shoot a laser into a cloud to make rain. But we're still having difficulty. Well, scary. We are atmospheric scientists and recently conducted a field study to evaluate cloud seeding as a means of enhancing mountain snowpack for, uh, from winter storms. Our results clearly demonstrate that at least under certain conditions, it is possible to change the evolution and growth of cloud particles leading to snowfall that otherwise would not have occurred. Yeah, mainstream media right there. They tell us they can do it, but we can't get through to our fellow Americans. I just want you to see this. Now, I was thinking about those crystals, and I was thinking about that champagne uh, general hospital that froze over. So I come up with this video, another example of ice nucleation by bacteria. By bacteria. Really? That's so disappointing. <laughs> so th that um, woman with the syringe, they, in this water, she dropped a couple of uh, drops of whatever. I didn't even know what it was, but it's bacteria. And it's so disappointing. So she drops another drop. Oh my gosh. <laughs> One more. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Is that not awesome? Bacteria. No, no, I want, I'm going to back off. I want you to turn it upside down. The top's on it. Ready? Go. <laughs> Ice. That one's a good one. Wow. Okay. So, uh, how does that work? Um, oh, I forgot. I had to go to Firefox because I couldn't open it on Chrome. How bacteria create their own ice. This is something that I never knew. Interactions at the tiniest scale can change the world. I will link below to everything, but did you know some bacteria love the cold so much that they actually cause ice to form? So good at nucleating ice crystals around itself that it's used to generate artificial snow for ski resorts. Scientists have long known that this P. Um, syringae, I don't know if that's the correct pronunciation, but it plays an important role in biology and atmospheric science.
because it can form ice at temperatures above freezing. Why do we see snow? Well, in places like Hawaii, because even that Washington Post article did mention, they mentioned, hey guys, it wasn't really cold enough. So there's a chance that this snow was grapple akin to small hail or sleet pellets and not true snow. The atmosphere appeared significantly too warm for it to fall. And that was based on a weather balloon recording. It's unlikely that snow could have penetrated much below 8,000 feet, but it did. And it sure does look like snow, doesn't it? I mean, doesn't it? Okay, well, uh, could they be dropping this bacteria? Man, oh man, what a world we are living in. Um, here, I can't highlight on Firefox, but this uh, has specific proteins in the cell membrane uh, researchers had to look at specific proteins in the cell membrane to understand how it creates a lattice on which ice can form. Wow. Um, I'm going to pause you because I want to get to the other parts that I want to read. Okay, so the bacterium can then use vibrational energy to remove heat from the area around it coalescing the water molecules into solid ice. It does all this very efficiently. Um, it is perfectly, or it is perfectly evolved to cause ice to form. And here, that's important. Yes, all of these uh, unique molecular, molecular features um, very important in the global processes. It's important because, well, this P. syringi has mostly been studied as a plant pathogen, not as a key player in global precipitation. Global precipitation. I don't know if this is what is you know, being used. It's so many of us have been um, voicing that the temperature, the cold, feels like ice when the temperature is really not that cold. I don't know. I don't know, but there, <laughs> there are many methods, many methods, in which they can make rain, make snow. It's not just one way or the other. But yes, tropical islands. Laura and Luke. My God, this is how they might want to kill us by freezing us to death. All links are below.